What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Classroom of the Elite. Today we're doing episode 9. This one is called If You Make a Mistake and Do Not Correct It. This is called a mistake. Very true, Classroom of the Elite. I agree. Last episode, we finally got the backstory of Kushida and how deranged she is and she has some gossip she has some some tea as the kids say these days on class d so we need to win our bet about her stopping her endeavors of getting us expelled we need to do better than her on these finals and if we don't then ayano koji and horikita are expelled so with that being said if you guys are excited please leave a like let me know your thoughts in those comments down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon for the full uncut versions of these episodes let's hop right on into it classroom of the elite episode nine let's do it so she is cheating for oh even So she is going to ensure Class C wins the shuffle, and and she's egging him on to catch the shadowy mastermind. And Ryu, Ryu wins going to give her the question so she can win and cheat. God damn, this is already not looking good. Heck yeah, got to get that fresh Joe. Drop that cup. Oh, that was a little mean. It's gotta be someone super intent. Yep, Ryuan and Albert. That would make sense. Hiyori? Who is she? Okay. Okay. Ryuan is just something else. This guy, I tell you. And who is Hiyori? Because when Ryuan said, I have, I, I have the perfect person for the job, he had to have been talking about her, right? So, I'm curious. <laughs> I remember eating ice cream with the little stick it would come with back in the day. I mean, this is how you become friends, you know? Study sessions, things like this, you know? I don't like the vibe of these guys. I would need to get to know Hasabe and Miyachi, is that his name? A little more. But for efficiency purposes, I won't protest this group's creation. I know. It looks like uh, Ayano Koji and the other guy are eating like sea salt ice cream from Kingdom Hearts. It really does. Sakura, what are you doing, girly? You think you can hide behind a tree? What are you doing? Is this becoming a thing? Or is this going to be an actual four-man little group that we are cool with? Because I like them. Oh. Hasabe is not cool with it. <laughs> it's a little initiative you gotta be initiated so what's your given name sakura kiyotaka come on okay we added sakura sakura is one of my favorite characters in this whole show so i'm down so many new additions to Ayano Koji's like friendship circle that I would never expected like K like the rest of the squad you know he's still Ayano Koji is still keeping it strictly to business <laughs> we didn't get to hear it damn it damn it Is it Yano Koji's birthday today? Happy birthday, man. Damn it. I should have remembered. That's nice of her for remembering. 
As someone who also hates like the fake feel good, fake optimism, you know? Oh, but this is what this is what Ayana Koji wanted. I legit thought Kay was maybe she is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what to believe at this point. Like I was so on board with Kay having just like an actual lashing out. Even though she's in the wrong, but everyone lashes out, you know, every now and then. Especially to someone as fake as Kushida, but it could have all been Ayana Koji's plan. Could have Let me wash your uniform. This could be the part of the plan. She's obviously submitting questions that she can turn into Ryuen to, to make them win, like she promised, you know? So she, he should feed her their questions as well. Yeah. Okay, Hirata was able to pick up on it. So K, obviously, I've been saying this for episodes. You guys know this. You guys are all written. I know you guys are all like ten fucking seasons ahead of me. Um, obviously K is feeling on Koji. She just did this impromptu just to get prevent them from talking, developing their relationship anymore. But I also want to know where Hirata plays in all this because obviously he was the one she was using they were kind of using each other not really hirata using her but they, she was kind of using him as the kind of now ayano koji's role but now that ayano koji has filled that role her and uh hirata are still friends but like they're not dating anymore right or what role do they have i've been i picked up on how she's been on you lately how hung up she's been nah hirata's smart cookie yes I agree. But then we also had that one episode during the island thing where Hirata was going like crazy. He was like deranged, like, wow, would anyone fuck with me? This, that, and the other. So I, I don't know who to trust in the show, if I'm honest with you. Are the questions different? Did Rewan fuck her over? What? What happened? <laughs> I love them. They're honestly such a good team. Pseudo and Hork. It's all okay. Please explain it to me. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> On the day it was announced, okay. Submit personally by her. <laughs> okay, she is the class rep, so it makes sense. If anyone else does. <laughs> exactly like Kushida said to do, but little did she know she was already in that. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, planting the cheat sheet, I see. So they had a backup plan. They had a backup plan in case Horikita could not do it. Wow! And he said, I'm gonna... He said, I'm gonna stand back, watch from afar, and see you do it. And he did, but he had a backup plan just in case, you know? <laughs> you got got. And normally, people who get got, I would be like... I would feel empathy or bad for them. But you were literally planning on getting everyone else in the class. So I can't... At least two specific ones that I fuck with. That's how it always is. Katsuragi had to learn the hard way. You don't work with Ryuen. At what point are we going to learn this, you know? I also want to know him and Albert's backstory. Like, why the fuck does Albert like him so much? 
Okay, I like that. That's actually a big step. Something as as contractually as that, just to do it pure, you know, verbally. Ayano Koji. Ryuan agreed to the trade as expected. Trade. Give me class C's confirmed paper shovel question sheet and answers, or greatly alter the question sheet you gave. Okay. From Mastermind, too. Mm, Ryuan feeling not knowing all the information is so fucking crazy. I love it. Is that K? That has to be K. You'll pay the price for using me. Yeah. See, that's the thing, man. Ayano Koji never, never fails to exceed my expectations when it comes to shit like this. So normally I'd be like, oh, I'm scared of Rewin. But. <laughs> man, I feel like these episodes go by so fast. Shouts out Ayano Koji for another flawless plan that literally he really he had some to do with but really not like he he kept his promise almost fully to horikita that he would watch from afar and not do anything and technically he didn't need to get involved but he did kind of you know and he had a backup plan and shit like that but i'm just the battle between him and ryuan is so interesting because ryuan knows he not respects him because i don't think ryuan respects anyone but he acknowledges how smart and cunning Ayano Koji is, but not even knowing it's Ayano Koji is shocking. And I love that so much. Meanwhile, Ayano Koji is just a fucking genius. He's a legend. And if it was anyone else, I would be more nervous about Kushida saying, oh, I'm going to sabotage him now. But it's Ayano Koji. So I'm like, I'm literally the opposite of nervous. I'm actually more nervous for Kushida now, because like once you start fucking with him, you're out of here. You're fucked. You know, it's like this guy is not this guy's not one to be trifled with, as they say. Overall, great episode, though. God, great test. Shouts out Horikita for her fantastic plan. Shouts out the rest of the squad. I like the new squad that we just made with Hasabe, the other guy, uh, Yukimura and Sakura. I really like that squad. I hope we see them more often. I hope I see Sakura more often in general. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. All that jazz. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell somebody you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.